Today I want to talk to you about Lorraine, Ohio. Right? Lorraine, Ohio. If you've considered investing in Lorraine, Ohio, or you're looking to understand what's popping in Lorraine, Ohio, I don't think you'll get more detailed insight or a more in-depth analysis into the rental property business in Lorraine, Ohio than what you're going to see today. Let's jump in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show is from a man, Kirk, out of state investor who's looking to grow his real estate portfolio. And today we're going to do so in the Lorraine, Ohio, right? It's in the Cleveland market, right? Lorraine, Ohio. Consider this your ultimate guide to Lorraine, Ohio, folks. I don't think there's any content out there in the world that exists that's going to give you more info on investing in Lorraine, Ohio than what I could produce for you here on Holton Wise TV. In this property, Kirk, I think it's going to be perfect for your portfolio. Let's check out Lorraine and this property right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. This right here, this is the meat and potatoes of the show. This is where we make sure you understand the property, understand out-of-state investing, understand what you're buying, where you're buying, the best way to manage it, how to navigate these things in the market, and, and just truly know what it is you're getting into so you, you can go and be equipped just like a local, right? So the first thing we're going to get into is going to be the locale, right? This is real estate investing, folks. Location, 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 right? 336 Kansas Ave, Lorraine, Ohio, 44052. Hit the market zero days ago. That means it popped on the market today. Price, $144,900. Now, I well, almost lost my pen. Well, I found it. Okay. Now, what you have to understand about zero days on the market, I literally saw this, had to make this video for you, had to pop on here because you have to understand. Lorraine, Ohio, it's about 30 minutes west of, the Cleveland, Ohio, of Cleveland, Ohio, right? So this is the greater Cleveland area. Cleveland, the Cleveland market, one of the most popular high-demand rental property market, cash flow market, turnkey market. Why? Because the prices are super, super low. The rents are super, super high, right? So people coming from out of state, this is one of the top markets they're going to. What I like about Lorraine, though, it's about 30 minutes out. A lot of people seem to gloss over it, right? So I think our price points usually end up a little bit better. But the properties are really still flying, right? This is 2022. Real estate is a living, breathing thing, folks. It moves, man. The market is like, it's like water, dude. Up and down, up and down, right? Right now, historically, we're dealing with some of the most, uh, like, I can't even understand what is the best way to phrase this. Historically in the country, we're dealing with some of the biggest housing shortages we've ever had, right there. That's how I want to say it, right? Basically, that means we got a whole lot of people trying to buy houses, not a lot of houses, right? Inventory is down. Demand is high. So things are going to fly. So that's why I had to pop on here because this thing is probably going to be gone within days, okay? So I know a lot of people from out of state are like, Daya. This is just a claim market. Their houses are cheap. Ain't nobody want to buy them. I'm going to kick a low ball offer. Uh, don't waste my time. Okay? These things friggin' fly, right? Because it's one of the most popular turnkey markets, as mentioned, right? Where do people go when they're in California and uh, the California government makes it illegal to evict tenants? 
Where do people go when California doubles your taxes? Where do people go when California says, oh, yeah, we made it illegal to evict your tenants for the last three years because of COVID. Uh, and I know now 40,000 of you have decided you're just going to leave your houses empty. Guess what? Here's a new government fee, right? Where do people in Portland go when they're sick of the skinny jean wearing, vegan burger eating, chai latte drinking, crazy freaking woke warriors coming up with new ways to vilify landlords, right? Where do my blue collar some bitches in New Jersey go when they're trying to get a decent return on their investment? Where do New Yorkers who are sick and tired of rent control go? They go to the Cleveland market. They go to these cash flow markets, guys. So there's people from all over the world trying to buy stuff like this. So we need to move quickly. Why? Because it's freaking a great deal. This is a side-by-side -side duplex, folks. Side-by-side -side duplexes are awesome. We don't have that many of them. What is so cool about side-by-side -side duplexes is it's more like you get two single-family tenants, basically, right? Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, dude, get a duplex. It's like two houses. Yeah, It is and it isn't, okay? More or less in the Cleveland market, I would say about 90%, 95% of our duplexes are up-down feels like apartment living, right? So sometimes you get people uh, that would like to get that single family experience but they can't necessarily afford it. You get fighting, infighting between the tenants. A side-by-side -side is the best. You get people that really feel like they have a house, right? They got a downstairs and they got an upstairs. They got separate basements, separate laundry, right? Tenant A doesn't freaking creep out tenant B and steal her thong. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, we've had to deal with that like more than one time as a management company. <laughs> Welcome to being a landlord, folks. That's what I do here on Holton Wise TV. I make sure you guys understand if you have two tenants sharing a laundry room, odds are good at some point that little cutie wearing them size four jeans is going to have her panties stolen by the freaking creeper in the other unit. It happens, man. These are the kind of things y'all got to deal with, right? Uh, real estate's all about mitigating risk, though. You're never going to eliminate risk, and you know uh, how to mitigate the risk of ever having to deal with panty theft? You get them two separate laundry rooms, right? So side-by-sides, they help alleviate that. And then, of course, the more common thing that they argue over is the noise. Uh, panty theft, while it does happen, is not the most uh, common common thing. But don't ever think for a second you would be immune from it if you become a real estate investor, okay? By the way, check out the Tenants from Hell show uh, for that story and more just ridiculous stories of what we deal with as a property management company, right? Because I've been around the block, folks. I've sold $200 million worth of deals just like this one, right? This is priced at 145 k and honestly, it's more expensive than most of the duplexes I sell. I'm usually, my average, average uh, sales price, my average transaction price, uh, is usually under 100k, right? So just do the math. 100k to get up to 200 million. I've sold, managed, done a lot of freaking deals, guys. So I can tell you unequivocally, though, side by side duplexes. Whenever you get the opportunity to take one of those down versus an up down, you absolutely should. Your tenants will typically stay longer and pay more in rent. More in rent. Obviously, you see why that's good. Staying longer. For those of you that are unaware turnovers, tenants moving in and out, that's the biggest killer of our cash flow in this business, okay? It's not even necessarily the higher rent that's the real prize here. It's the fact that if you have a property for, let's say, 10 years, and you have two tenants during that 10 years, odds are good you're going to make more money than somebody who had the same property or a different property or whatever. They had the same like rent coming in, but they had four tenants over the same 10 years, right? Moral of the story, you want to keep people living in your units as long as possible because when they move out, you got to pay a ton of money, right? So with all that said, we're not going to chicken shit around. 144 nines what they're asking. Let's just come in at 145. No BS, right? As far as the current rents, I do not know. I reached out to this uh, agent, email, text, phone, right? Haven't heard back from them, but zero days on the market. Had to get out here and make this video for you because this son bitch going to fly, okay? So we don't know the exact rents currently. Doesn't matter. Focus on what the property will do long-term, right? 
what the current tenants are paying. It's a little blip, a little blip in the radar. Doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, right? I got your chart with your market rents. We're going to get into that shortly. I got your anticipated expenses. I'm breaking them down over 30-year averages, folks. Focus on that. Focus on the market, right? If the current tenants are paying a little above rent, cool. If they're paying a little below rent, cool. Who cares? You got to pay attention to what you'll be able to get regularly, right? That's a thing you see, too. You see people try to sell properties. Uh, with inflated rents. Like if the market is normally going to rent a unit for 750 sometimes we get jerk-off sellers to call me like, yo, dude, I got this duplex. And like in the neighborhood, all the duplexes, right? You know, I got, again, 200 million sales. I know what I'm doing, right? I sell duplexes in that neighborhood for 100K. Units rent for 750 a pop, let's say. You get some jerk-off who's like, da my unit rents for 900 Can you sell it for 150 No. But the cap rate's higher than it. Bro, I don't care. You convinced one tenant to overpay. Good for you. Doesn't mean your property is worth total different. But I did the numbers, and based on the same cap, you could sell it for more. Please sell it. Why don't you sell it for 150 Don't bother me. Don't bother my team, right? You get people to think that. What one particular tenant is doing is not necessarily indicative of the long-term success or failure of the investment, folks. And furthermore, one tenant paying more than market rent is actually bad, okay? Because you could really convince any tenant, any one random person to pay an inflated amount. Maybe they're a bad tenant that can't live anywhere else. That's not good. Just because you got them to pay 900 for a $750 unit, odds are good they're going to pay you that 900 one, two, three times, and then boom, they're not going to pay you. Now you got an eviction on your hands. Not good. Likewise, going the other way. If the mom and pop landlords renting the units for like 700, who cares? Focus on the market rent. Focus on what Holton Wise will do over the long haul for your investment. Thus leads me to what the rent roll will be. 875 is a reasonable expectation. 1750 comes in, right? That's 31k. I'm sorry, that's 21k rather. 21k. Dude, I am getting so old. I got glasses. I need like higher uh more like I need the thicker ones, right? I need the Coke bottle ones, okay? I'm freaking getting old. Anywho, 21,000 comes in for the year running your fixed and variable expense estimates. Only about 10000 or so of that is going to be real profit, right? You got your CapEx, vacancy, and non-payment maintenance. That's about $3,150. That money will come home to you when things are going good, folks. But I have you save that. That money is really coming to you. But I don't want you to consider that profit because eventually you'll have to do the roof. Roofs last 30 years. Roof on a deal like this, it's like an $8,000 roof, right? So I've... Broken it out for you as the average length of the investment. Same thing with furnaces. We don't have new furnaces here. They're close to end of life. They're going to run you at least three Gs each, right? Probably like 3,500, right? Post-COVID inflation, bro. Joe Biden, build back better. Just kidding. Let's go, Brandon. Anyway, hot water tanks. You're looking at about 1,200. They last about 15 years. They're not new here, but I broke that out for you. Factor that into your CapEx, right? So, what really comes home, what should be considered pure profit, is about 10326 Some years will be better, some will be worse. It's real estate. We can never identify the exact amount, but we can mitigate risks and give you averages, right? So anyway, you pay 145 All you got to do is kick in 36250 We get the bank to kick in another 108750 That uh, projects out to a 13.3% cash-on-cash return. One more thing that I really like about Lorraine, nice, like, C-grade area. They got two naval bases coming in, folks. Two naval bases. Going to add like three or 6,000 jobs to the area next year. That is big. That is huge. That is awesome. So I really like this neighborhood. I actually like investing in Lorraine more than I like investing in Cleveland proper, right? Lorraine does not have a lot of the riffraff we're dealing with uh, with what Cleveland uh the, the local government is doing, right? The new lead-based paint regulations, you don't have to worry about those in Lorraine. So in my opinion, Lorraine's actually more landlord-friendly than what really draws everybody to this market, which is the city of Cleveland itself. One thing that uh, people don't pay attention to is they think, like, the Cleveland market, they think it's all Cleveland. No, no, no. We're dealing with, like, four or five million people in our general investing area, but only 340,000 of them are housed in the city of Cleveland. The city of Cleveland is just a small dot in the greater... Cleveland metropolitan area, folks. Like, one other thing, right? Everybody's like, LeBron, LeBron, right? Most famous person from Cleveland. LeBron's not actually from Cleveland. LeBron is from Akron, which is about 30 minutes south of Cleveland. This, 30 minutes west, right? So, in my opinion, banging deal. The only thing you need to do is move quick 
and be willing to pay at least 145 you might want to go a little bit above that because I think we're definitely going to have multiple offers. So as high as you feel comfortable going is my recommendation to you because this thing's going to fly and we do not have very much inventory like this available in the city of Lorraine. It's not like you don't get this one, there's another one next week. There won't. All-time shortage of duplexes and a huge, huge, huge shortage of side-by-side -side duplexes. So if you like this deal, you better move quick and be aggressive and do not pussyfoot around. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.